Hello, how are you doing? I have a big pile of really exciting sounding new books that are hot off the press for June 2023 that publishers have kindly sent me. And I don't know if you realize this, but publishers send me a lot of books and I feel so grateful and lucky for this. But I want to assure you, I only talk about books that I'm genuinely interested in and hoping to read. I don't want to come across like one of those booktubers that are like, oh, here's another big pile of books. <laughs> no, these are all books I'm really keen on getting to. So I'd love to know if you have heard of any of these books, if you are interested in reading them, or if you have read any of them, let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know what I should prioritize, what you're most interested in, and let me know if you have have any new books um, that you're really excited to read. So this is a whole mixture of some fiction, some uh, translated fiction, uh, some books that uh, seem like they'd be really good uh, for Pride Month reading. Um, so I'm going to go through all of them, starting off with a couple of books that happen to be set in Berlin. Uh, so there is Kairos by Jenny Erpenbeck, and I've read Erpenbeck before. Um, her novel Go Went Gone um, is so good, and uh, so I've been really keen to read more of her fiction. This is her brand new novel that is set in East Berlin in 1986 when a young woman bumps into a much older man, and there is this instant attraction between them. They start having this very intense and passionate affair, um, which has issues with it over time, um, partly due to circumstances um, involving their personal relationships, but also um, to do with the larger politics of the country, how each of them obviously grew up in very different times and under different political circumstances. And um, so it's sort of mapping um, this period of very big um, change in Berlin in the 1980s. Then there is Sojourn by Amit Chaudhuri. This is about an unnamed man who arrives at Berlin and in this process of defamiliarizing himself with his environment by moving to this new place, um, he wants to discover another aspect of himself. You know, this sort of sense when we go to an entirely new place um, trying to, to find ourselves because when we're kind of stuck in our own environment and place that we're familiar with, it's difficult to, to sort of access different aspects of your like identity or it's kind of like testing out new aspects of identity. I'm probably not explaining this very well, but it sounds like a really interesting subject for um, a short, punchy novel. And I've read a book by Chaudhuri um, many years in the, the past and really enjoyed it and have been wanting to read more of his fiction. Then there is a brand new novel that is set in London, uh, which you can tell from this beautiful cover and there's kind of outline of a London cityscape um, in the, the background here. Um, it's so beautiful. The moon represents my heart and this is about a time-traveling family that they have this sort of in their blood that they're able to, to travel uh, across time. And uh, it's uh, about uh, two parents and their two children and how the parents travel back in the past but then don't return. And one of the, the siblings um, travels back to the past where he falls in love with someone from the past there. And I've always had this like geeky fascination with time travel stories. So I'm interested to see how it it's executed in this novel. The Broken Places by Russell Franklin. This novel is about a real historical figure who is born in 1931 with the name Gregory Hemingway, uh, who was the third child of Ernest Hemingway, the famous author. And uh, it's about uh, this individual's youth as a star athlete and uh, Hemingway's favored child, uh, but how in 2001 uh, this individual dies with the name Gloria Hemingway in a woman's correctional facility. And uh, so it's about um, this person's life as a trans woman, which is 
so fascinating considering how Ernest Hemingway you know, famously wrote about the subject of masculinity um, so that one of uh, Ernest Hemingway's children was a trans woman and so following her journey um, fictionalized in this novel I think is going to be so interesting. Watch Us Dance by Leila Sleimani. Uh, this is fresh off the, the author being the chair of judges for the International Booker Prize and now she has a brand new novel. So this is the proof copy and this is the finished copy of the book and this is about a woman named Mathilde uh, and we follow her in 1970. 68 in Morocco. Um, she lives a very privileged lifestyle, but she fought very hard to get here. So we get that um, story coming up to this point, but also how this is a time of tumultuous political and social change, and she doesn't really realize or understand how this is going to affect her family. So we follow her through this period. Then there is the novel Another Person. This is a story about a woman who receives an anonymous comment on an online forum, but because of the content of this comment, she knows it's written by someone who must have known her when she was at university, and this causes her to reevaluate and revisit um, her campus life and and the sexism and in abuse um, that was endured uh, while she was there and um, looking back on this past. And I think it's told as a kind of dual narrative. So it's part like a mystery story and part a social commentary. When We Were Sisters by Fatima Asghar. This is a novel about three sisters who are orphaned when they are still children and how they come to rely upon one another um, as they go through the difficult process of coming of age, um, especially as Muslim girls in America, and how they all have very different experiences and reactions and ways of inhabiting um, their identities um, through this, this period of growing up. Um, it sounds like a really tender and moving family story. The Making of Another Major Motion Picture Masterpiece uh, by the great actor Tom Hanks. This is his debut novel um, that has been much talked about. Uh, it follows the story of uh, the process of making a major multi-million dollar star-studded action film, um, how this is a very long process. Um, it charts a period of over 80 years and how this film was originally inspired by a comic book. And uh, so the novel comes with this little comic book book that supposedly inspired um, this fictional film and obviously Tom Hanks knows all about the ins and outs of the, the motion picture industry um, so it'd be really interesting to see his perspective on this in a fictional context. Y slash N by Esther Yi. Um, this is uh, about a Korean uh, pop star that is a member of a wildly famous boy band and um, how a fan who obsesses over him writes this fan fiction uh, about him. Uh, but when um, this musician goes missing, uh, the, the fan wants to know what happened to him. So it goes on this journey of discovery. I think it's a story that's slightly surreal, um, but also about our modern day culture. And I think it sounds so fascinating. Mrs. S by K. Patrick. Um, I was sent this advanced copy of the book and I love how this proof is made to look like an old um, like library book if you look at the spine here and uh, so this is a story about an Australian woman um, who moves to an English boarding school to become the new matron and there um, she falls for and has a very steamy affair with uh, the headmaster's wife who is called Mrs. S. I think this sounds so good. Um, this author, Kay Patrick, um, is one of uh, Granta's best young British uh, novelists. And I, I saw the author speak about this book in a preview event. Um, it sounds so fascinating, so good, really my type of novel, and I'm so excited to read it. So from a story about a queer love affair to a queer breaking up story uh, with the novel My Mother Says by Stein Pilgrim. 
Hildegard, and this is about a, a woman who has just broken up with her girlfriend. She moves back in with her father, who is a Pink Floyd loving、uh, priest, and、uh, so about that difficult transition period,、um, how she wants to try to get her girlfriend back, and has these like ploys to do so.、Um, it sounds like a, a really compelling story. Flatlands by Sue Hubbard.、Um, this is about a twelve-year-old child、um, who is moved out of London during World War Two and the bombing, and to the safety of the English countryside, and there discovers. A whole new rural lifestyle.、Um, I, I love、um, stories about this period and、um, this this wild thing of, of children that were moved out of London and、um, the various experiences that they had. Elsewhere, by Yane G,、um, who's an author that's written a number of novels, but this is her very first fiction in English.、Um, so this is a collection of short stories、um, about a whole range of characters and situations. There's a story about a woman who loses her voice. There's another story about a a couple who meet in a cinema in Dublin.、Uh, there are tales about displacement and longing.、Uh, Madeline Thien, and the the great、uh, author,、um, is a fan of of Yang Ji's, and、um, she says this is a gripping, stunning work, worldly and. Otherworldly. We had to remove this post by Hannah Bervetz.、Uh, this is a book which first came out、uh, last year, but it's just come out in paperback. So this is the new paperback. It's one I've been meaning to get to because I'd heard a lot of really great things about it. And it's quite a short novel, so I should be able to get it to it.、Um, it's about a woman、um, who takes a job、um, as an online moderator, and、uh, so removing a lot of comments、um, and. How she really gets into this whole culture of the workplace and、um, meets another woman、um, that、um, she has an affair with,、um, but how、um, as changes occur and she finds out more、um, about this online life, it starts to become slightly more sinister. And finally, there is Black River by Nilanjana Roy. This is a novel set in a, a village、uh, just outside of Delhi, where a girl is found murdered. And the the story follows an investigator who is very under resourced,、um, trying to find out the truth of what happened to her. A lot of villagers、um, believe that、um, it's an individual in the community who is Muslim.、Um, this is a largely Hindu community, and this is during a time of rising religious intolerance.、Um, so there's that aspect of, of the story, as well as、um, this suspenseful mystery about what happened to this. Girl. So those are all of the new books I want to talk about now.、Um, like I said, I'd love to know、uh, which of these books you're most interested in reading, or if you've read any of these titles.、Um, please let me know what you think about them and what I should prioritize. But I'm also be interested to know、uh, what you're looking forward to reading next. If you've got any new books out of the library, or bought any new books recently, or were given any new books recently, please let me know about all of that in the comments below. I would love to hear about it, but I hope you're doing well and reading good things. And I will speak to you again soon. Bye bye.